Hi everyone. In this video we will talk about the amazing and unique shaped fragment of Gibeon meteorite known as the Scream. Disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. Any information is based on my research from the article posted online about this meteorite. Meteorites are fragments of asteroids, planets, or moons that survive their journey through Earth's atmosphere and land on the surface. They are essentially rocks from space that have fallen to Earth. When a meteoroid, the term used to describe these objects before they enter the atmosphere, enters our planet's atmosphere, it burns up due to the intense heat generated by atmospheric friction. This creates a bright streak of light known as a meteor, more commonly referred to as a shooting star. Meteorites come in various shapes, sizes, and compositions. There are three main types of meteorites. Stony meteorites, iron meteorites, and stony iron meteorites. Stony meteorites are the most common, and they are composed primarily of silicate minerals. Iron meteorites, as the name suggests, are predominantly made up of iron and nickel, while stony iron meteorites consist of a mix of silicate minerals and metals. And today we will talk about an iron meteorite the one of the fragments of Gibeon meteorite known as the otherworldly scream, because of its peculiar appearance that looks like a screaming face. The Gibeon meteorite, also known as the otherworldly scream or the scream, has a fascinating history that dates back thousands of years. This renowned iron meteorite was first discovered in the early 1800s, but its origin story can be traced back much further. The Gibeon meteorite fell to Earth in prehistoric times, estimated to be around 4 billion years ago. It originated from the asteroid belt situated between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. As it traveled through space, this celestial object was bombarded by cosmic radiation, which caused it to develop a distinct crystalline pattern known as the Widmanstaden pattern. About 600 million years ago, a massive meteoroid hurtled through space before crashing into the land that would, many millennia later, become known as Namibia. While on its earthbound journey, it shattered, sending more than 100 meteorites shooting toward the planet, leaving blazing trails in their wake. A large portion of the space rocks were found around the village of Gibeon, earning them the name Gibeon meteorites. Even before the start of the Iron Age, local people used the meteorites to make iron tools and weapons. It is classified as an iron meteorite belonging to the chemical group IIAB, which is known for its high nickel content. The high nickel concentration gives the meteorite a unique crystalline structure known as a Widmanstaden pattern. This pattern is a result of slow cooling over millions of years within the core of an asteroid. The space rocks gained international attention after Captain J.E. Alexander, an Englishman, found them during his 1838 travels. He sent a sample back to London, where prominent astronomer Sir John Herschel noticed its high quantity of nickel and declared it came from an iron meteorite. Upwards of 150 meteorites were tracked and recovered since the captain's 19th century report, though quite a few of the valuable specimens were either stolen and smuggled out of the country or donated to various international research institutions. However, 30 of these prehistoric extraterrestrial wonders are available for all to see on the Post Street Mall in Windhoek. They were declared a national monument in February of 1950. The Scream, Gibeon Meteorite is a remarkable iron meteorite, it is named after the famous painting, The Scream, by Norwegian artist Edvard Munch, as its unique shape resembles the figure in the painting. The Scream, Meteorite is considered one of the most visually striking Gibeon meteorites due to its distinctive shape. It is irregularly shaped, with jagged edges and a twisted, elongated structure that evokes the sense of a screaming figure. The Scream Gibeon meteorite has an estimated value of 280,000 euro. Many specimens of the Gibeon meteorite, including, the Scream, have been cut and polished to reveal the stunning Widmanstaden pattern within the metallic matrix. The pattern consists of intersecting bands of nickel-iron crystals that create a visually captivating mosaic-like effect when viewed under certain lighting conditions. Due to its aesthetic appeal and rarity, the Scream, Gibeon meteorite has gained significant popularity among collectors and enthusiasts. It serves as a remarkable example of the beauty and intrigue found within the cosmos, connecting us to the vastness of the universe and the ancient history of our planet. The Gibeon meteorite has had a prominent place in scientific research as well. It has been utilized as a benchmark for studying the Earth's magnetic field and geochronology. Scientists have used this meteorite to calculate the age of the solar system and the cooling history of its parent body. Today, several fragments of the Gibeon meteorite are scattered across museums, collections, and private hands worldwide. 
Its beautiful crystalline pattern, caused by its slow cooling in outer space, continues to captivate researchers, meteorite enthusiasts, and the general public. The Gibeon meteorite's otherworldly origins and the peculiar scream associated with it have made it one of the most iconic meteorites, leaving an indelible mark on the history of astronomy, geology, and human curiosity about the wonders of the universe. And before this video ends I'm gonna show you the images of Gibeon meteorite fragments. The study of meteorites provides valuable insights into the formation and evolution of the solar system. By analyzing their composition and isotopic makeup, scientists can learn about the processes that occurred during the early stages of our solar system's formation, as well as the conditions in the regions where these meteorites originated from. It's important to note that while meteorites can be fascinating to study, they are relatively rare compared to the vastness of Earth's surface. Finding and collecting meteorites often requires extensive searching, and many meteorites end up in museums or private collections for further examination and research. Thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.